Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley. And today we are joined by Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, who will be talking with us about a few things happening this week in Belmont. And first, Franklin, we're town meeting is starting. That's right. It kind of, it kind of snuck up on all of us. Um, and uh, the annual town meeting will start and we'll have segment A or segment one, as they usually call it, some people call it which is of the non-budgetary items. Um, this year, uh, we have two major ones, I believe, and that is uh, stormwater control. That will be something that we're going to have to go uh, uh, do a lot of work on. Um, and uh, the second one, of course, is the, uh, is the inclusion of a new um, uh, uh, committee, which will be the combination of short-term and long-term uh, capital budgets. So, so Franklin... Franklin, mm -hmm. let me ask you first about the storm, the stormwater uh, management issue that's before town meeting. Mm -hmm. What, what, what is that about? Okay. Stormwater is basically the the, um, the codification of uh, uh, methods that uh, the town has to do to uh, uh, to prevent its prevent stormwater and and sewage going into tributaries. Uh, okay. And uh, because Belmont is seen as one of the leading uh, polluters uh, in the area, so it basically will make sure that uh, we have uh, 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 within our within our uh, bylaws and within our codes uh, a way of uh, making sure that we we're not we're we're, we're complying with uh, uh, governmental agencies. Okay, Frank. But how about the enlargement of the capital budget committee? What is well, that about? And, and Franklin, I have to say, for disclosure, I'm a member of the Long-Term Capital Planning Committee. That's right. It is. Uh, it, it basically is a, is, a, is a good idea to uh, have, you know, that, that we have a, a very strong uh, capital budget committee. And, and we also established a long-term uh, uh, group, uh, which looks at, um, uh, you know, infrastructure 10, 20 years down the line. They are now, they decided that, uh, well, the town has decided that, it would be better just to have one single group uh, doing a lot of analysis in terms of both long-term and short-term instead of having two groups do, do it uh, separately. Okay, and Franklin Town Meeting will be starting earlier this year. That's right, 6.30. All right, so we're looking forward to that. Um, how about the Light Board? They've held their first meeting, haven't they? That's right. It's the first meeting of the elected Light Board, um, and... Uh, uh, Steve uh, Kinlonski is uh, the uh, new chairman, uh, and they uh, uh, seem to be a great group of, of, uh, of people who um, are, are going to move forward in terms of uh, making sure that the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the light utility, the electrical utility in Belmont is run w with an idea towards um, carbon-free usage of, of energy coming into uh, Belmont. Um, now, Franklin, uh, we, they're starting off with some major challenges this year, aren't they? That's right. Belmont is no different than any other place in this world when, when we're seeing uh, large increases in uh, energy costs, 300% increases in, 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 in natural gas. And they discussed that, and they said that is going to be a concern. That's going to really uh, put them under pressure because, you know, it, it's already hard enough to just try to get the energy into uh, you know, try to get these long-term contracts, try to be as, to, to make prices as stable as possible. But now when you have um, uh, the, the world uh, tensions and everything like that, and you're also trying to uh, commit towards a carbon-free uh, um, energy source like Belmont has, it's going to be, it's going to be a challenge for this group. So the bottom line is um, <clears throat> Belmont residents could see their electric bills going up. Just like everyone else. All right. And Franklin, uh, do we have an update on, on the Concord Avenue um, uh, striping plan? Yes, we do. The, uh, the Board of Selectmen uh, approved the plan, which will now make, uh, you will see uh, starting in May, June, the new striping along Concord Avenue in which uh, the bike lane, in which a dedicated bike lane uh, adjacent to the curb of, the, of Concord Avenue from, let's say, Belmont Center all the way to the Cambridge Line, you will see uh, the bikes will have a uh, priority along the lane. So it will be along the edge of the road. So that will make it a lot safer. Now, um, there are people who, who pointed out that, um, you know, this is going to cause, you know, people, because we're going to have a parking lane uh, that separates the bike lane and the travel lane right. on both sides of Concord Avenue. 
there are people who are concerned about, uh, um, you know, having to exit from your car onto or well, next to a, a dedicated traffic lane. And Concord Avenue does get a very busy during the morning and afternoon rush. So um, uh, the select board asked that um, um, uh, they take a look at um, lengthening or increasing the size of uh, that uh, edge between the parking lane and the travel lane. Uh, and uh, but uh, they've uh, de they've uh, decided that they're going to go forward with that. And now a lot of people okay. are are in favor of that. Okay. And Franklin, when is that? Uh, when are they supposed to start the work on this? Uh, just before the. Uh, I think more likely than not, they're going to do it after the school year ends. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Franklin. Uh, we've been talking to Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian. You can see more of his reporting at belmontonian.com, and be sure to. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll see you then.